Hi traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a new video on Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the charts. All right, so this is the daily chart and we were expecting this zone to be a key decision zone for either a break to the upside or bounce to the downside to retest this bottom and probably break that bottom because the entire chart or price pattern is looking bearish and we expect a new low in fact on Bitcoin. And of course that could be a bouncing spot for more upside. Now price did not reach that zone. It was too slow, too corrective uh, to break uh, even above the long to moving average as you can see. Our moving average here 144 EMA close. Rather than going up there, it turned already there with some pretty strong bearish price action. Look at these daily candles and they show uh, clear uh, you know, control of the bears, clear momentum to the downside, break of this support trend line, break of this channel as well. So I think that that is you know, a pretty telling sign. I think we're seeing clear indications of lower highs here, 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 and now here. So that's a pattern. We have flat bottom at the moment still. Uh, price is not able to break through this 57, 50-ish zone. But I, I think that at this moment, as price will probably retest that area again sometime uh, next week probably, that it might not break immediately. There could be some flag on lower time frames right on the hourly chart. Maybe price uh, could make something like this uh, at that support zone. So we might see something like, now it's looking like a flag in fact. So that could break. It could be a new flag. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, a bearish break below this 57.50 or 5800 something like that and uh, what is the target well it's difficult to say i guess because uh you know there could be a bigger fall there could be a smaller fall there is a 55 5000 round levels i think that could hold it it's certainly possible uh but could it go further it you know it's it's possible too we have to see how much momentum there is in that market uh there is a strong top here so that's something that is good for bulls um but if it breaks below 5,000, there could be more space to perhaps even a level such as 3,000, for instance. So we have to see uh, how far this could go. This is certainly a support zone, but difficult to say uh, if we get a low, right? If it is really going to be bouncing back up again after a short dip down to 5,000, or if we get extended push lower to 3,000 before we might get a, at least a little bit of a relief rally, if not a full a uh, full kind of trend reversal back to the upside. All right, so for the moment, uh, let's take this away. I think we're going to see a retest at the bottom. We'll probably see some slight consolidation there, and I would expect a break. Now, if we get a bigger bounce at this bottom, although I don't think so because this is already attempt number three, but if we do get a bigger bounce, then still the same is valid for uh, the resistance zone right here. All right, that could still be a turning spot. But now also this trend line, right? So if we do get a bounce here, that trend line could hold it easily and send it back down to test this bottom again. And then we might get the break. So if it isn't this time, we'll probably see another bounce and a retest of the trend line and a bounce of the trend line to retest the bottom again. Then I would expect a break of that bottom. And then we'll have to see, depending on price action and candlestick patterns, how impulsive that break is. And then we can estimate the target uh, to the downside better. By the way, we released a new Fibonacci and Wave uh, core reference guide. I'll add the link down below so you can check that out. Of course, we have multiple updates per day at EliteCurrency.com on our blog. Check it out and wish you all good trading. Cheers.